Hi guys, this is the Mid-Age Gamer, and uh, just spend a little time here. This is the first of three videos I'm going to have up on the game Flat Out 3. Now, I've written about Flat Out 3 before and kind of complained about how I really didn't like, like it in comparison to Flat Out 2 and other previous Flat Out games. What I'm going to show you in this first video is just basically like you see now, some of the menu settings, some of the car settings, and a little bit of the racing action that goes on. So, here right now we're seeing we're selecting cars. Now there's been a few updates and patches to this game in the past few months, so if you see new on there, that's pretty much a, uh, that's from the patch. Uh, and there's different cars depending on how far you've gotten along in the game, but, you know. And of course you'll never see a licensed product or Chevrolet or Ford or anything like that in the vein of previous Flyout games. They make up their own names, but, you know, you see elements of Mustangs and Porsches and Bugattis and and Ferraris all over this, you know. So you know they take a little bit from everywhere. But yeah, right now we're just kind of looking at the cars. This is what we got. There's different classes. They're just, and in addition each class, there's a different car. The skins basically change the paint job. Never seen a really good paint job. They all look kind of dirty and ugly. So. Tuning. Tuning is kind of an automatic thing. There isn't a hell of a lot you can do with the tuning of the cars. Not that you'd want to anyway, because it's not that kind of game. Okay, here we're showing, basically setting up a game, you know, what kind of track, what kind of car, class restrictions, and characters. Got a few of those, see that? The girls, the guys, the businessman. That guy looks like a porn star that we all know. That one looks like the stick from Top Gear. Yeah. So, you know, whatever you want your character to be. A few more choices than you used to have in the old games, but, you know. Oh, yeah, she was DLC to Christmas 2010, just in case. I wonder if I was going to see what we got. Now you can see, choosing the race type. Um, you know, player count. Can't have any more than 16. That's the top end. Damage multipliers, you can either have down to nothing all the way up to two times the damage, which damage in this game makes a big deal. It's, you know, you, the more your car your car's damaged, the more trouble you have controlling it. So, I'm going to look at the settings here. Let's see. Yeah, I thought I was going to erase it going there. Okay. I got video options. Now, by default, it goes to desktop resolution which is a DirectX thing, and that was a problem in this game. It doesn't, didn't, didn't always pick up the resolution properly. And you had to manually set it. But you can see from here, you can go all the way down to 640 by 480 if you want to. Uh, video presets, that's just the quality. So, you have that. Um, yeah, for most rigs these days, Ultra, because this isn't that taxing the game. Yeah, okay. This is all the little minute video chain, video settings you could set, so, eh, whatever. But you're just getting a good idea of, you know, what you can and can't set, and how, uh, I don't know, I guess, I guess how easy to set up the game. There, it's not the time I saw my joystick. Not real complex, nothing compared to Battlefield 3, or even, say, Need for Speed. So, I was using pro units driving the US. I really don't like kilometers per hour. It's kind of like fooling me. Yeah, it's just some little extras. The art gallery, if you really want to look at their art, I think that's a big deal. So, but again. Okay, these are different race modes. You got Race, Stuntman, Big Battle, Battle Arena, Monster Truck, Speed, Night Shift, Off Road, Challenge. So, you're probably going to spend most of your time in Race, Stuntman, and Big Battle in this game. The rest of them are just kind of variations on a theme. Here I'm actually looking through and seeing, looking for a particular map within this, within this stunt, mode, stunt mode here. And, uh, yeah, I'll pick this one. This one is one I haven't even beat yet. This is, uh, yeah. We're still looking at them. Hit them high, yeah. Not a lot of choice of cars in this particular mode. So, you know, you pretty much got two convertibles. So, we're going through those. 
Man, I picked a Stig looking guy because I like uh, Top Gear. All right, here we go. Uh, yeah, load screens. You get a lot of them in this game. It doesn't matter how great your rig is, you're going to get load screens. So just, you know, be warned. It's almost like a console in some respects. This is the PC version of this game. Now, here you go. There you so basically throwing the guy out of the car. And you have a certain amount of aftertouch, which gives you control. Once that runs out, you have no control anymore. Um, I still haven't figured out a way to get this guy all the way to the target. In fact, I had a lot more of these attempts, so I only put two of them in here because after a while it gets boring just seeing you fail. So, but there you go. Here's the guy going. Yay. Kind of looks neat. See, I got a little bit of control, but boom, that's it. He's done. He just doesn't have the you know, Maybe if I had better cars. So, let's see where else we're going to go here. You know, we're looking around at the different courses here. Oh, one evil one, you know, that thing made me down the desk. I won't even show you that one here. Jack will try to stay again. Alright. Yes, I'm a fan of Top Gear. In the UK, Top Gear, not the American one. Oh, this one's ridiculous. Basically, it's a hollowed out golf ball. You gotta get this guy to do a 90 degree turn. I've only made this happen a couple of times, and you're not gonna see it here. Because you see, look at the aftertouch. You virtually have no control of them once that's gone. So, in the old game, it used to be that that really, the aftertouch was, that wasn't there. You had control pretty much for the entire flight. You know, that, this is just, the timer runs down too fast. And it's not real, it's just not, not, it's not great. You know, it's not very intuitive the way the controls are set up in this. This is one of the things I'm really distressed about. So, and again, we have the load screen. You'll see a lot of them. Doesn't matter the platform. Okay, that was stuck, man. What are we gonna look at next here? These are all variations on a theme. Night shift is tough. On another video, I'll show you an example of night shift. Basically driving around on these tracks at night in rain, which makes it that much worse. So that's about it for right now. Um, watch the second video. We'll be going over some other uh, play modes in this game. And, hey, thanks for watching and Subscribe.